Well, I'm Donna Drake. And I am Rhonda Kulch. And where are we today? We are at the Glenhead Country Club here to celebrate Victor Green and the Victor Green Foundation. Yay, Victor Green! <laughs> so we both know Victor Green has a very giving, trusting, beautiful heart. And what he's been able to do here with his foundation over the years is nothing short of miraculous. What are we in store for today? Um, just a tremendous amount of athletes and entertainers, um, actresses, actor, you know, actors, everybody and anybody that wants to come out and support Victor. And even more importantly, everybody knows the mission of the organization and they are really here to support the kids. And the kids, we are actually going to see the kids here too. Uh, so much in store. Now, when you go to a golf outing, do you even golf? I don't golf. I don't golf either, <laughs> but we go to a lot of outings, a lot of outings. And this one is set up so beautifully. I mean, they have a beautiful course, uh, finely manicured, and those are the things that we know. We could sell mulligans. I don't know. Do you know how to sell a mulligan? I actually heard them talk about no mulligans at this golf outing. Ooh. Very, um, Victor's golfing. very competitive. Yes, he is very competitive. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. We're living it up right here at Glenhead Country Club. You know, being from a small town in America's Georgia, you know, growing up without having a whole lot, you know, and being in a position now to give back, it just means a lot to me for me to be able to have the kids from Freeport High School come over today and be able to support them in their endeavors. Um, you know, we started this like nine years ago and it's grown every year. And it just, it means a lot for me, for my family to be able to do this, to give back and just make an impact on life. So I know that today is going to be an exciting day. What do you think you're looking forward to the most? The kids. <laughs> it's all about the kids. I mean, we're going we gonna to hear them sing um, God Bless America and, and, and the National Anthem. And they are so gratifying and so galvanizing. These kids mean so much to me. Um, it is wonderful when we have opportunities like this for the students to be able to be exposed for the wonderful things that they do. As I've always said, our students are really rich in talent, but financially it's difficult for them to afford some of these um, experiences when we do travel. So something like the Victor Green Foundation really helps us with um, donations so that our students are able to really um, be able to participate in other events that perhaps are pricey. Um, you know are costly so it's really wonderful to be able to come out here and perform and for the kids to also be able to experience celebrities and a little golfing and things that perhaps they normally don't have a chance to do so it's a wonderful opportunity for them to just shine and experience these things so obviously hard work you know sometimes when you meet people they think it's all about luck Right. And you and I know it's all about hard work. So when you're the underdog, like some of the children are that Victor supports, what advice do you give to the underdog who's really trying to get ahead? I always like to tell kids this. Look, you're going to have to make sacrifices in life. And we see a lot of kids trying to grow up too fast, trying to do things that they aren't legally able to do, thinking being an adult is simple. If I just do this, that makes me an adult. Look, you'll have plenty of time to be an adult. Make the sacrifices now and put yourself in position so that when you get older, hopefully you can, can become successful, you can decide how you want to live the rest of your life instead of trying to have the fun now and then figuring out the rest of your life how to get to the next dollar. A lot of us, we, we try to say that I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that, and it's a shortcut. Who you really are is a hard life journey, adventure, and work because we continue to become. You know, for me to say I'm, I'm black, that's a, short, that's a shortcut. A am, am I chocolate? Am I African-American? Yes, it's a part of who I am. But it's not the foundation that I stand on. It's not, it's not the power source that I plug into. It doesn't give me the energy to, to, to learn how to be anxious for nothing. You know, we gotta be anxious, we gotta be nervous, we gotta be expected, it's a hard life, but, but to be anxious about feeling anxious, then I enter into a prison. And so, so many young people and people, period, are in that anxiety place. It does a really good job with um, reaching out to communities that are probably, you know, misguided in a certain sense and 
giving them the opportunities to get continuing education, right? Uh, focus on physical fitness and wellness, all these things that he is all about. You know, you see, you look at Victor, guy. right? You look at Victor and you know that he uh, he cares about uh, the, um, the physical nature of his well-being. And um, I think him being able to put that back in his community is, is a great thing. Well, I would say to all the youth that um, when you going after a dream is really not an overnight success. If you look at anyone that has some sort of story of success, it was in the making for some time, right? Um, you know, if you take a look at some guys like for what we did in terms of football, that wasn't overnight. So every guy may start at seven, eight, nine years old, but perfected that craft up until, you know, till he got to high school, then to college and so on, right? Mm -hmm. So nothing is ever overnight put the time and the work in and then see how that, ha you know, how it folds for you. We are right now with Willie Colon and I am so thankful that you took a few minutes to spend with us. Yeah, you call it, Victor called me over. I've, I finished smashing a chicken sausage and some Doritos, so I took time out to talk to you, so I'm good. <laughs> we got involved with Victor probably seven or eight years ago. I was invited to this by someone and every year we've grown our sponsorship and because Victor has such a great personality and he's so passionate about what he's doing. You know, I think this year we have uh, 88 people, 22 groups coming, um, all in support of what he does. And just seeing what Victor does and how passionate about it is all year calling us and are we adding more people? Are we doing this? Can we do this? We need money for this. So, like, it, it's been great. Are you getting ready to golf today or are you just showing up to look good? Well, you see, you have to remember it's different than the athletes who actually play golf. I, I bring the club back, I look down, I do all the drama, I look over the lens and I say hi to a fan. And I bring the club back and right about here they cut. And then they bring in like Freddie Couples or somebody who actually can play golf and they get behind him so you can't see his face. And he hits a perfect shot and they cut back to me going... How important is it for you to give back to our youth and utilizing who you are? It is integral. The reason for living, I hope for everybody, is to give your wisdom to the next generation. If we don't do that, we don't leave a legacy. And for me, our wisdom is acquired through life experience, not just book experience. So people can withhold that gift or they can give their gift away. And again, the purpose of living is to give our gift away so that we positively shape the next generation. So there's nothing more meaningful for me. When I think of social media, I think of op optics, I think of content. Um, the optics and content we have was our parents and our neighbors and our neighborhoods when we were growing up as kids, where now social media has become that outlet. And the thing you want to be careful with is identifying what's real and what's not real. It's good from an inspirational standpoint, but there's also the other side of it too as well that can cause you to, to buy into something that's not really conducive for your growth. What Victor is doing here is unbelievable. Uh, he's been doing it for years. Uh, I've been coming here you know, for years supporting him and it gets bigger and better every year. The kids get better every year. It's just an amazing event and I just enjoy being here. What makes you feel so joyful in your heart when you know you've made a difference? As we get older, and I've got older kids now and Victor's got older kids now, you start to realize how important it is to make sure that you keep people that have been with you and your friends part of your life. And what Victor does is brings all of his friends together and he does things for the kids. And you start to realize how quickly that can go away. Now my oldest now is in college, he's gone. It goes fast. And so anytime I get asked by Victor to do anything when it comes to the kids and charities, and if you're gonna throw golf in it, go. for I'm doing it. And now Rhonda has some great insight with my Kelty Williamson. So these kids are all looking for a big break and their next opportunity. What was that breaking point for you, that real career setter? Well, ultimately, people always become what they think about. That's actually the key to yeah. success. Um, so, so the more that they surround themselves by like-minded individuals and the more they put in the work, maintain the faith, and don't mind hardship occasionally, they always achieve what it is that they would want to achieve ultimately. That's the way it works for all of us. Well, for me, it's about, you know, coming out and lending whatever celebrity I have to support, uh, you know, Victor and, and, and what he's trying to do here uh, in, in this part of the country. For us, 
you know, we come to, you know, golf tournaments all the time, but whenever you can come and the beneficiary are the kids, that makes it, you know, much more fun and much more uh, a, a great time. We get a chance to spend time with, uh, you know, other other uh, athletes and other celebrities, but but the most important part of it is the, the good that we're able to create by being here, by supporting Victor Green and his foundation, all the things that it does. So that's the, that's the true cherry on top in coming to an event like this. Jerome Bettis, congratulations on being honored by your college. You so deserve that. And uh, thank you for spending a little bit of time with Rhonda and I today. We're in some difficult um, times in terms of uh, how, we, how we're going to move forward and how we're going to uh, make this uh, country uh, un unified again and how we're going to make it safe for our kids. Um, and uh, the best way to do that is through education and uh, through support and teaching them how to become self-sufficient and to become leaders if, if they have that capacity. We all have a responsibility as, not just as, you know, retired professional athletes or but as adults, you know, because we were children once, you know, and because we were kids once, we needed the love, support, the encouragement of adults during that period of our lives in order for us to get to where we are, you know, and I'm, I'm very grateful for all the contributions that have been made to my life. And so now we have a responsibility to pay it forward. So if you had one statement that you can make to today's youth, what would it be? Dream big, you know, because most people, they don't set their dreams high enough, and you also have to stay persistent with it, stay focused, keep the path going. People will come in your life that will help you as you continue to grow, so just dream big. When Victor calls, you know, we, we come, you know, the NFL PA, they gave me a call. You have some former players here that actually play with Victor. And, you know, we show up because it's all about the kids. We're the ones that's on television. These kids, they look up to, you know, these guys. And, um, you know, it's just something that, that we have. It's our way of giving back, basically. We both support each other in everything that we do. However, this event is more than just about myself or my husband. It involves kids that may not have all the opportunities that our children have, but it's very important for me to be involved because I give back. That's a part of my life as well. So it's very important for me to be here for him. Up next, we want to give this guy an apple because now Noah Burroughs is a teacher. There's a lot of kids, they don't understand the importance of financial literacy. They don't understand um, how to uh, keep themselves in a good positive credit standing. So I think financial literacy would be something really great and pivotal for a lot of our youth. And a lot of these kids, unfortunately, you know, don't have someone to look up to. And, and it really bothers me some when I hear athletes saying, well, you know, we're not role models. Well, you are a role model, whether you want to be or not. Uh, you're playing a sport that kids get immersed in. Uh, they look up to you, and you need to try to set an example and help them as much as you can. So God bless Victor and all of the people who participate in his event to support such a worthwhile cause. Who was your mentor growing up? I had a bunch. I was lucky enough to be in a great community. I, my mom and dad were a big part of that, but my older sister's a big part of that too. So I've definitely taken that along with my time in, in Austin, Texas, and I've started a philanthropic that I'm working with. It's called RBI Austin. So being there for someone of a younger age is, is very helpful to get them through those teenage years, and uh, having someone close to you like that has been everything and more. Now, I know that this foundation really raises a lot of money to help children. Who taught you how to be philanthropic? What was the moment in your life that you decided you wanted to give back? When did you become a giver? I've been, since I've been in high school, um, my high school coach, he, he, he preached it and we had to go out and serve in the community. And then in college, we, they, you know, the, the, our coach, Coach Jackie Sherrill from Mississippi State, he made us do the same thing. And then NFL, so it was more of a natural thing. And I had my own foundation in Naples, Naples, Florida, that, um, uh, we helped a lot of kids out too, so it's, it's a natural thing, and, and, and more than anything, it makes you feel great to give back. When it comes to giving back to the community, that, that's my heart because I'm an actor. I have a TV series called The Godfather of Harlem. It took me 18 years to get the show done, and now we're one of the highest rated shows on the Epics channel, and we're on Disney Plus now, and we're on Hulu. 
But my journey and how I was able to get it done, I tell people you can either chase your pension or chase your passion. And I'm about chasing my passion. And plus giving back to the community and letting kids out there know that if I could do it, you can do it. write something um, that others could kind of encapsulate about what the spirit is of today. What would you write about? Uh, I write about uh, uh, no raindrops today. That's what I would write, yeah. A, a, a rainless uh, event here. Because the weather wasn't looking good there for a while, you know? So Victor, we have been here all day long with your team and yeah. all of your friends. Um, how do you feel now that it's like the dinner hour? It's, I'm still going a thousand miles an hour right now. I haven't really settled down, but uh, the event was amazing today. Uh, the weather couldn't been any, uh, any any better. We had rain, you know, yesterday, but uh, it's amazing. Everybody had a great time. Uh, we're gonna go in inside in a minute, raise some money, more money, and uh, it's just been an amazing day. I mean, I really is blessed to be able to do what I'm doing, uh, be able to serve kids, and. Uh, you know, be a backbone, you know, for their, you know, their growth, I guess. They depend on you, yeah. right? These groups, these organizations, every year they're looking for you to kind of help them facilitate these great programs that you have. What does it feel like to have that responsibility? You're not just winning games, but you're helping people win at life. You know, that's what God has built me for, you know, and um, played in NFL who, who, who gave me the, the strength, I think, to you know, with the thousands of fans to play in front of, you know, God has kind of built me to be a leader and, and to help others, to love others. And, and I think, you know, I know this kind of getting off topic a little bit, but love is, is the key to everything, right? It, it really is. I mean, I think if more of us can just love people and, 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 and we can inspire, I mean, I, I just... The things that I see and the love and the care I see from other, from TV to people to you, I just think you absorb that love. I mean, I just think it just it just means everything. I mean, I know it kind of got out of the topic of what you wanted. Oh, but I love you but too, Victor Green. It's just, <laughs> it just, it just what it's about. And I just think the world just need more of that. And, and if I can just do a little bit more, God can just give me a little bit more time. I promise you that I'm going to do more. I promise you I'm going to love more, and I'm just going to be a better person for it. So that's what I try to do. And that's a wrap. Thank you for watching our coverage this that's year. <laughs> so, Victor, Rhonda and I are here just to say that we love you, we support you, you're doing wonderful things, and this is just our way of shining a light on you. Thank you so much.